Hi guys, this is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer, and today I want to walk you through a uh, master model technique. I uh, came across this idea with a uh, client, and uh, we went through a couple different iterations, and this seemed to be kind of the best way to do it. So let me give you a little bit of overview on what we did. So I have a, a fairly simple assembly, and the assembly is in this case based off of three sketches but it could get a lot more complex if it needs to and uh, it's based off of one individual part file so if I want to uh, let's say edit the sketch for the main boss extrude I can uh, make some changes in it so I'll make some drastic changes and then when we update the sketch it's gonna automatically update all the individual parts so you can kinda see that the uh, the circle is one part this little triangle is another part. Uh, this square is actually off of a uh, another sketch that's kind of on the side. So if I want to make that a little bit smaller or make this a little bit wider, we can just finish out of the sketch and everything updates, you know, according to the sketches. And that's pretty much the basis of this master model is you edit something very simple like a sketch and it updates, you know, two or three or four parts. So let's uh take this back and we'll start from scratch and dig into how we developed it. So let's go ahead and close everything. And we'll just start out with a simple part. And we'll create a simple sketch. Put a couple dimensions on it. And if we need to we can go ahead and add some geometry in here. In this case, I wanted to put where the triangle was going to be. Uh, but I'm going to use the triangle to do a cut. So I want to make sure that I put these into a construction. Um, I can also place the circle if I want to here as well. This way, I just have to use one sketch, and the other sketch will update another sketch. So I just quite simply extrude this up. And I'll just go ahead and make it an inch. I'm going to use that first sketch. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Sketch back on the front plane. And then I'm just going to steal this geometry. I'm holding down control. And then I'm going to convert that entities. So that way I have two profiles. And in this case, we're going to do an extrude cut. And I'll just say through all. There's my cuts for the part. Uh, now I want to create a sketch on the side view of this. We'll go ahead and turn our sketches off. And of course I could have mentioned this out, but in this case I'm going to leave it. And I'm also going to use a different technique for this one. Uh, so I can do a contour selection. So I'm going to go ahead and do an extrude cut. Contour select is on. So I'm just going to select that guy. I am removing material. I'll go ahead and just use one inch. And we'll say OK to that. Now one thing I may want to think about is that the extrude uh, was just a dimensional number. I may actually want to come back to this sketch and put a little leg in here. Or it could actually be a rectangle, however you want to set that up. And uh, I'm going to leave it just uh, as an, an empty amount there. And SolidWorks caught me. I need to uh, make that a construction geometry. There we go. Should be good. And then I'm going to go back to this cut extrude, edit the feature. Uh, I need to go ahead and turn on that sketch. And instead of blind, I'm going to say up to vertex. And select on that little point on the end of that guy. So that's going to actually control how far that's going. So now I'm controlling the depth of that with the uh, that line there. All right, we'll turn off my sketches so nobody makes fun of me. We'll go ahead and save this. I'm saving it in the vault, so I want to make sure that I give it some information in the card. And so now I'm ready to create my triangular part. I'm going to go ahead and leave this open. 
So again, just start with a main uh, part file. And then I'm going to insert a part into a part. But in this case, I really don't want any of the geometry. All I want is the uh, sketches. So I'm going to grab both absorbed and unabsorbed. Not going to worry about the materials or anything like that. And I'm not going to worry about uh, the location. So I have a part inside a part. I have three sketches. Let me zoom out just a little bit. So I can use this sketch to create my geometry off of. And that was created off the front plane. So I'm just going to do a new sketch. I'll turn it on. I'll go ahead and steal some geometry. In this case, I'm doing the triangle. And I'll extrude it. Uh, maybe this one I'll just do mid plane. Two inches. Not too bad. So now all I need to do is uh, save it. I'll call this one my triangle. Now, since I already have one in here, it can be really easy to copy this uh, using Windows Explorer. I'm going to go ahead and close out of it just for a second. And we'll go into uh, Windows Explorer. The reason why I'll close this is because I did want to change this uh, part number. And you can't really do it while it's open. And then I'm going to make some copies of this. So I'll just copy this guy, paste it. I'm not going to worry about automatically generating uh, part numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and make this two. This one's going to be my cylinder. And then we can, of course, copy this one or copy the other one, however you want to do it. Paste it. This will be the uh, block on the end of the thing. Not too crazy. Let's go ahead and open these guys up. And they all look the same. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the uh, cylinder. And all we need to do really is to edit the sketch. Just delete that. Uh, if I do want an offset, I can just do an offset in here. Or reverse it. So maybe I want a little bit of a tolerance or something. And if I want to change the uh, direction we can and the amount we can. So there's my cylinder. Let's go to the block. This one, I really don't need this uh, feature at all. What I do need is this third sketch here. So again, we'll just uh, turn him on. I'll pre-select it. We'll go ahead and do an extrude. I'll do selected contours. I want to select these outer contour. And let's give it a half inch thick plate on that side. And then I'm going to reuse that same sketch and extrude. This time the selected contour is going to be the inside of this. We'll flip that, change it to up to vertex. And then again I'm going to select on the end point of that line so that way it goes that total distance. So that way if I change that line length that's going to update both of the cut on the uh, the main part and the extrude on this one. Alright, then we'll turn all our sketches off. That's my part. I'll typically go back to the, the main part. So this is kind of our base. And uh, I'll start the assembly with this guy. I just want to insert him into the origin. So I'm just going to say OK. And same thing. When I start inserting the other parts in, like the triangle, don't select anything. Just hit OK. 
cylinder, hit OK. That way it fixes it to the origin. And since they're all based off of the same part, they're all going to be in the same origin. That way you don't have to worry about mates or anything like that. So pretty simple. Now if I want to make a change to it, I can just go in here, we'll edit the sketch. Of course you got to save the assembly. So I can make a uh, dimensional change. We'll make this nine. We can actually just drag this out if we want, whatever the distance is. Or if I wanted to move the cylinder around, we can. And then when we finish out of the sketch, give it a second, and all the parts update accordingly. I will tell you that the initial customer had a uh, part that updated a part, which updated another part. And so we, you know, one part had to update and then update the assembly. The assembly had to update the mates and then the mates had to update the other parts. Uh, so this is a lot faster way in which a single part with just simple sketches is updating multiple parts uh, in their location and where they at exist in the assembly. So pretty quick and fast and convenient. So I hope you got at least one tip or trick out of this thing. If you liked it, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Thank you guys for your time and model on.